Hello, my beautiful Tauruses. Welcome to your bi-weekly love forecast for September 30th to October 13th. Uh, thank you guys so much for liking, sharing, and subscribing. And thank you to all of my members. And of course, if you'd like a personal read with me, all of my information is in the description box below. All right, so we're gonna talk about the overall love and advice, and then we're gonna jump over to our singles. So stick with me till the end. Let's jump right in. So let's go to my Taurus's romantic love life for September 30th to October 13th. Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. Okay, that feels good. Let's go to my Taurus's romantic love life for September 30th to October 13th. Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. That feels good. All right, let's see what's going on here. And let's first of all, lay down all these cards first. Wow, good ending there, good outcome there. Okay. All right, so we see, just let me take a look at this for a second here. Okay. Okay. All right, so in the current situation, there's something secret, there's something yet to be known, or there's a person that's using their intuition here. Because of the fact that we see that someone's at the coming to the edge and they want to take a risk, they want to take a leap of faith. And you see that this person is like spreading out little hearts and stuff. So there's a sense of being uh, something yet to be known or something yet uh, that they, they're trying to gain knowledge about because they want to take a risk, they want to take a leap of faith here. And they've come to the edge. What's the blockage here? This blockage is uh, abrupt decisions possibly moving kind of fast there with the Knight of Swords energy or cutting something away, cutting something out when it comes to a loyal heart. Hmm. Yeah, there's a sense of eight. Eight's putting the work or effort into some kind of, and also with the Knight of Swords energy, that can be harsh energy sometimes, like arguments and disputes or harsh words, it's like this person's not like really thinking, their words are kind of cutting into this loyalty of the heart or the sense of loyalty of the heart is they want to cut things away cut things out okay um so i feel like there is a sense of being logical here with the king of swords energy gemini libra aquarius energy and doing things by the book here okay doing things in a systematic way and uh the sense of logic around it like all right i have to be wise and pertain to my 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 mind, I have to use my mind or my heart. I have to be, you know, wise in my decision making here. I have to be very political about things and I have to do things by the book. That's what's going on at the foundation of the matter. In the past, there was the sense of, all right, I need to do this deep, heavy soul searching here. And I want to focus in on the here and now because I don't want to look at the past. I don't want to look at the future. I just want to enjoy the moment and just go within here and just kind of search here, soul search here. So I feel like at the head of the matter, you guys are gaining some kind of clarity here around your situation when it comes to your soulmate connection. So you're just trying to get some clarity about it. And I do have a sense that you're using your intuition or you have a sense that there's something higher to this because you see that there is an angel there. It looks like an angel there watching over the soulmate connection. And I see a key in this card which shows me something to do with an opportunity or something to do with success. So you're, you're having this sense of, all right, I want to be victorious here. And we see in the near future, you have this potential for love or a new path of love coming up, Page of Cups energy. And, oh my goodness, we have to take a nap card. It's something that you've been dreaming about, this Page of Cups. This is something that you've been dreaming about, this new path in love, Page of Cups energy or message of love. So you're gaining this clarity here. And you've been focusing on the now. You've been focused on the here and the now. And you've been being very logical about this, this dream that you have. And the soulmate connection, you've been doing some deep, heavy soul searching about. You've been doing things by the book, but there's this new path in love, Page of Cups energy. Okay? And this, this person you've been dreaming about is, uh, you know, it almost feels like you guys have manifested this because it's here and now. 
okay? Or there's a sense of that you were focused on what's going on in the now. Yeah, you were meditating, contemplating, soul searching here, but focused on the now and enjoying your moment fully, or this person was enjoying the moment with you fully. Okay, so let's see here. Six has to do with healing, recovery, and love. Aces of wands are this mental clarity. You have this mental clarity about your soulmate connection, but you're trying to be logical about things. You're just like, all right, I have this. I know that there's a soulmate connection, and, and but I just, I want to be logical about things. I want to think with my head here over my heart, and I just want to, do everything by the book. I want things organized and structured in a certain way. Okay, so how does your love interest uh, see the situation? They have a sense that they need to be patient for an equal give and take, but they want to go the distance here, right? They want to. Uh, they want to. They want to win this. Okay, they want to go the distance and they want to win this situation. Four plus seven is eight, nine, ten, eleven. There's something to do with a choice for this patient energy and how do they feel about you? They feel that they should wait for the right opportunity and wait for success here before they they tell this truth or truth, truth be told, before they open up to you, open their heart, okay? So they feel like they should wait for the right opportunity before they open up, right? Before they take off that mask, before truth be told about their feelings because you see, when the chest is open there, it's like a, a bunch of hearts flying out and everything is wide open, right? So they feel like they want to tell this truth to you, but they just want to wait for that right opportunity here. But they're willing to go the distance, they're willing to pass these challenges, but they want things to be balanced. They want, uh, they want to be patient here for an equal give and take. Hmm. And interesting enough, what is your influence in your romantic love life? It's the Knight of uh, Wands energy a passionate energy there, a sense of wanting to take an action towards passions and a sense that this is a blessed connection. Hmm. Okay. Let's uh, clarify some stuff here. Um, why are they waiting for this right opportunity here? Why are they waiting for this right opportunity here for? Why are they waiting for this right opportunity here for? we see the page of cups being there something you've been dreaming about about this new path in love page of cups energy all right uh why is the three of wands here why is the three of wands here why are they waiting three of wands three of wands okay because they want to move past the challenges first into calmer waters they want to make sure that the that all the, uh, it's like this card here for me. It's like they want to go the distance, but they want to move past those challenges. They want to win. They have a sense of wanting to win. They want luck to be on their side. They want things to move in their favor when it comes to a potential for a long-term commitment. All right, what's this uh, Knight of Wands energy? Aries, Sagittarius, Leo energy. What's this Knight of Wands energy? Show me cards I need to see. Show me cards I need to see. Again, luck on your side, things moving in your favor. Something to do with the past energy, Six of Cups energy, and slow walk and things, Knight of Pentacles energy. There's a sense of not wanting to be left out in the cold, Five of Pentacles energy when it comes to a choice. Hmm. Okay. All right, let's take a look at your advice. So your advice is to move past these challenges, to know that you have to weather the storm here and you will see the light in the tunnel focus on healing recovery and love let's also see what the advice is here oh focus on happy happy so focus on being happy and what's this person holding they're hoping their star so focus on being happy and focusing on what your wish is and you'll be able to move past these challenges okay You'll have, to, you'll, you'll have to weather the storm here with the Six of Swords energy, but there's a light at the end of the tunnel there. Okay, so let's talk about this outcome. Okay. All right, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy. It looks like you're at a fork in the road here. You're trying to find the right direction. You're, uh, this for me is like the Two of Swords energy. There's indecisions about which direction to go in here. You want to make wise decisions when it comes to long-term commitments. And there's a sense of getting over hurt or pain here because there's a sense of a new life here. 
okay? So you are coming to a completion here with this hurt pain, it's over. Um, and there is a sense of, of having a new life, but you're still at a bit of a crossroads here. There's these romantic gestures happening here with this Knight of Cups energy. There's a sense of romance and romantic gestures and a, a sense of wanting to work together. That's a co-creation card, right? Coming together, working together, or there's a nurturing energy there with that co-creation card. That's what I feel like. So there is your bit of crossroads about the situation when it comes to your, your new life. Um, but there's this nurturing energy with the co-creation card or a person that wants to work together with you, wants to, to come together, maybe even start a family there. Let's see what that co-creation card is about. King of Pentacles says, okay, I want to be wise in my decision when it comes to long-term commitments. There's the sense of getting over this hurt and pain because of these romantic gestures, Nine of Cups energy. All right, actions towards love and romance. What's the co-creation cards about? What's the co-creation part about? Some of the cards you need to see. That also makes sense of why spirits like, be happy, happy, happy. Okay. What's the co-creation card about? This indecision. Crossroads energy. Should I get my cup of love? Should I not get my cup of love? How put the work or effort into that Ace of Pentacles energy because of a reconciliation, because of a healing, because things rolling in your favor, judgment card energy, and moving past these challenges here. So I feel that's your energy. But know you'll move past these challenges. Just focus on happiness and what your wishes are, okay? All right, my darlings, I love you guys so much. Let me know what's going on in the comments below. You know I love to hear from you guys. All right, bear with me for a second here while I clear this out of the way for our singles. In a second here. All right, let's move on to now to our Taurus's singles. Romantic love life from September 30th to October 13th. Show my cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. All right. Taurus singles, romantic love life from September 30th to October 13th. Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. Can I have some advice for my Taurus to singles? September 30th to October 13th. Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. All right, so we see in the current situation, you guys are stressing a bit with the Nine of Swords energy. So there's a lot of stress and anxiety here, a sense of sleepless nights about your situation. Um, the blockage or the challenge seems to be Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy, or a sense of arguments, disputes, or something that's moving fast here, Knight of Swords energy, or something you feel like needs to be cut away or cut out, Knight of Swords energy, or an abrupt decision there. At the foundation, Three of Pentacles, it's a want to work together, it's a want to build a foundation there with the Three of Pentacles, or you're trying to come up with a creative solution there. Wow, in the past, you had some big surprise, big change here, big upheaval here with the Tower card energy. Something shocking happened. And now at the head of the matter, you're just waiting around to see how things are gonna play out here with the Seven of Pentacles energy. It's like, you're like, should I invest time in this? Should I see what happens with this? See how this grows here? I have a sense you don't want to move too fast, though, with that Knight of Swords being there. Um, okay, so I see in the near future, you're going to hold on to a situation for a success, or there's a person here that wants to hold on to you for Pentacles energy. So there's a waiting around to see how things are going to play out, because something that was big and shocking that happened, a surprise, about working together or having a uh, building a foundation here or coming up with a creative solution and this person wants to hold on to you for pentacles energy i see that the the influence of your romantic love life is heartache here three of swords energy i just want to clarify this real quick what is this three of pentacles about what is this three of pentacles about show me cards in the Show me the cards you need to see. What's this Three of Pentacles about? Again, Knight of Swords. Cutting something away, cutting something out. You could have more than one choice or option here. Justice represents um, a just truth or just decision. When it comes to marriage and long-term commitment for her wands energy and waiting around to see how things are going to play out. So it's like the sense of uh, somebody wants to move fast on this. And they want a decision when it comes to marriage and long-term commitment, but you just kind of want to wait around and see how things are going to play out. 
when it comes to this new path in love. And they want to hold on to you for a pentacles energy. And there's this influence of heartache here. Okay, so I'm just going to see what the advice is here. Okay, advice being commitment. Your advice is to commit to dating and know that it's going to take some work here with the garden card energy. So uh, know that in order to have this commitment, there's going to have to be some courtship, some dating, and it's going to have to, you're going to have to put the work or effort into that with the garden card and gardener card energy, putting work or effort into a commitment. And let's see what the tarot says. It's saying that things are going to turn in your favor. Okay. So the universe will turn in your favor with the will of fortune card. All right. So let's see here. There is this person that finds you a wise decision when it comes to love and romance, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces energy, right? They have this sense that you are a good choice when it comes to love and romance, but there is a sense of self-focus here with the Nine of Pentacles energy, or this, for this Nine of Pentacles energy, maybe you're isolating yourself to focus on self with the Nine of Pentacles energy, and you may be focused on work here, Eight of Pentacles energy, okay? So this person does find you a wise decision when it comes to love and romance, but I feel like you're a bit, uh, you're self-focused here with the Nine of Pentacles energy. I do feel like they're very attracted to you because we see the peacock in the card. So the peacocks for me represent an attractive, beautiful kind of energy. And uh, I do feel like you're focused on your work, uh, on your pentacles here for some of you, or there's a sense of being wise in your decision making when it comes to love and what fulfills your wishes and putting the work or effort into that and that, the eight of pentacles energy all right my beautiful tauruses i love you guys so much thank you so much for watching and if you like this please like and subscribe and of course guys i will be seeing you in another day or two love you guys so much and see you soon